but the Colorado Rocky Mountain High. I thought the Rockies would be a little rockier than this. I said I thought the Rockies would be a little rockier than this. Ooh, ah, that's nice. Our staycation road trip takes us to a place where it's sunny 300 days of the year, where you could ski, fish, golf, sometimes all three in the same day. Speaking of, these golf balls in that mile high altitude travel 10 yards further than cities at sea level. Four. We're in Denver, Colorado, a place I called home not too long ago, and more recently went back to help kick off our 5G launch in the Mile High City last year. Denver was actually one of our very first 5G cities to boast download speeds exceeding two gigabits per second. All right, let's get to know this awesome city a little more by getting to know one of our V-teamers. Brian Gurness is here to give us a virtual tour. Brian, bear with me though, uh, the altitude, it's, uh, it's taking my breath away. Yeah, well, you know, Denver is known to be the mile high city. So that might have to do with why you're having a little bit of a hard time breathing. And you know what? We do get 300 days of sunshine a year, as you can see here. Beautiful outside, isn't it? It's almost like you're bragging to us here with that sunshine, Brian. Just saying. Well, you know, I got to work on my suntan a little bit. Obviously, uh, you know, you and I both take a lot of pride in being part of the team, but tell us uh, what it's all about in Denver. So I'm on our uh, business side of the house. So I'm a, the I2B district manager here locally uh, in Denver, supporting our indirect and our business channel uh, here in Denver. And so been with uh, the V team almost 15 years. It's been great just being out supporting the community, uh, supporting veterans. I'm a, currently a uh, military veteran, have my son, he's in the Air Force as well. You know, military, a huge part of you and your family's life, and you're also giving back in big ways when it comes to the military. Through this, it's really allowed us to spend some time uh, as a team, first and foremost. We've, uh, through second quarter, we've done 85 hours where we've set aside at least one hour a week to come together as a team. And being that Colorado is so military uh, present here in Colorado, we spend a lot of time, whether it's letters of gratitude to our deployed soldiers, our carry the load, getting out, representing Verizon in the community to carry the load and just making sure that we're giving back. It makes our team feel proud. And especially for me being previously in the military and now having my son who's in the Air Force and being able to support him through all of this and everything that he's going through, it's just, I couldn't be more proud of my team, my family. That's awesome. Well, we of course appreciate your service, your son's service, and we appreciate you being our virtual tour guide. So with that in mind, uh, some things to do in Denver. You gotta go to Red Rocks. Red Rocks is one of my all time favorites. And if you've never been to Red Rocks, you've gotta go. You know, it's 640 acres of just open, 300 foot sandstone rocks are out there. That is the premier spot to see an outdoor concert. And then after that, hey, why don't we head downtown? Denver is the 10th largest downtown. It has the second largest performing arts. And if, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I thought I saw that you had like a purple bear or something, maybe in the background. I do have the bear. Yeah, that guy. We can go and take our pictures, maybe take some selfies with that guy in downtown Denver. Everyone, you know, thinks about the great outdoors when they get to Colorado. Uh, describe to us, as a longtime resident there, I mean, just how majestic those mountains are. That's actually for me, the mountains, that's my compass. Whenever I travel outside of Colorado, I end up being a little bit lost because for me, the mountains are always on the west side there, but you can get lost. If we have some extra time on our journey this summer, I'm gonna take you up there. We're gonna do some hikes through the Columbines. Go, maybe we'll do a little bit of fishing, a little paddle boarding. That's just a great way to escape the city and spend some time with the family outdoors. Brian, thank you so much for the awesome virtual tour of Denver. Now, if you want to take another look at the landmarks that Brian mentioned in Denver, we do have our uh, staycation replicas of the Big Blue Bear and of Red Rocks. Not quite built to scale, but still very impressive. And hey, we'd love to know what all of you are doing this summer. Whether you're on the road or on the couch, send all your summer adventures to goodatverizon.com and tell us how you're making the summer count. Now, wherever you go this summer, whatever you do, the last thing you need is a random robocall to cramp your adventure. Did you know Verizon has helped customers avoid more than 6 billion spam calls? Matter of fact, Verizon already leads the industry and protects more than 75 million consumer, business, and prepaid wireless lines with the free call filter app. 
Verizon also authenticates billions of calls each month between more than a dozen providers using stir shaken technology. This is all so you can concentrate on what matters most. Like, what's for lunch? Is that chips and guac I see over there? Oh, it is chips and guac. What a coincidence. In our small business spotlight, we catch up with the good folks at Adelita's, one of Colorado's best traditional Mexican restaurants. Let's hear more about what makes Adelita's so special. My name is Nathan Ayala Schmidt. I'm the general manager at Adelita's Cocina y Cantina. Uh, it was founded on April 29th, 2013. So we've been around a little bit more than seven years. What we do here and what our specialty is providing the community with seven generation Michoacan Mexican foods. These uh, family recipes from our chef owners, Sylvia and Daya. And almost since the first day that it opened, it's been very successful, luckily. We're very proud of operating a business in Denver and being part of the Denver community. First and foremost, uh, we are very diverse and we really embrace that diversity. So at any given time in our restaurant, you will see people from all over the world. And then when you introduce the fact that we're doing six to seven generation family recipes, everybody can identify with that. You can come here and it may not be your mother's cooking, but it is somebody's mother's cooking. And it's very traditional in that way. We were tracking the pandemic across Asia before it even got to New York or to the United States. We went to delivery and takeout right away. So when most businesses close for that two weeks to a month, we never closed and we really worked through the protocols of what it meant to change our business model to delivery and to go. Another challenge has been adjusting to the square footage, keeping everybody socially distanced. Uh, we figured it out pretty quickly what we were able to do, but we're a small place. and so. What we've also done is looking at expanding the square footage that we do have. Uh, we've tried to acquire the spot next door. We're renovating that. Internet and phone access for us is everything, especially uh, since the COVID pandemic. We've increased our phone lines from two to six, and we've upgraded the speed of our internet. If our internet service or our phone service is ever compromised, it really becomes a challenge to meet the needs of the customer in real time. Verizon is the best partner for our business. We have tried lots of different services over the seven years that we've been open, and Verizon has hands down been the best company to work with. We're very proud to be in Denver. We're very proud of our restaurant. So to represent this city, which is so unique and dynamic, and there's so many great businesses here, we couldn't be more proud of representing Denver in the summer tour for Verizon. Adelita's is one of the many businesses doing what they can to serve their customers. So we thought this past Taco Tuesday was a great opportunity for us to pay it forward using our Verizon credit card. Lunch was on us for many of Adelita's loyal customers. Now folks looking for a celebrity appearance got a chance to meet a cardboard cutout of me. And you thought my singing was flat. Our thanks to Adelita's and their loyal customers for the Colorado hospitality. Hey, a quick reminder for our V-Team. Make sure you join Hans and our leaders for our 2Q Earnings webcast happening live tomorrow, 12 noon Eastern, right here on Up to Speed. Let's round out this part of the road trip with a little mile-high music. Here's Denver singer-songwriter Esme Patterson. Every time I drive down your street, I look for the light in the window. My name is Esme Patterson, and I live in Denver, Colorado. I put on my tax returns that I'm a musician. That's what I do. I grew up in a family where there was a lot of singing and I've just always known that was the path I was supposed to walk. I'm really glad to be able to give music and to have put an album out right before everyone went into lockdown was definitely kind of strange, but I was glad to be able to give that gift to everybody to listen to. The album's called There Will Come Soft Rains and you can get it wherever you consume your music. There are some really cool things about Denver. There is a really big culture around art and music, and I'm hoping that my involvement and the involvement of other people who want to try to bring everybody 
onto a level playing field will help revolutionize the Denver music scene to be better than ever. I want to just point to the strength and diversity of our community here. And we have a lot of work to do to make sure that all of the diverse community is represented and has a voice. And I'm happy to be part of that work. Thank you.